So obviously a tough game going down by 15 points today. Um, firstly, just a great start to the game, but couldn't be consistent over the four, the four quarters. Um, what do you think we need to replicate from that sort of first quarter and a half in the future in the next couple of games we play? Yeah, I think um, I think when we started to not get results from our process, um, we started to change our process, which we don't want to do. We want to back it in. Um, I think the most disappointing part of the day is probably that we didn't play the style that we wanted to, not so much um, stats or um, results, but we went away from playing a certain brand that we've trained, so that's probably where we saw the tide start to turn. Yep, yep. Um, given the pie side of last year, we're pretty solid side, top six side, do you think that's kind of a positive to take out of the game, um, mm. given it was a pretty tight four contest in the end? Um, Oh, to be blunt, no. Like I, I think we should have, not should have, we didn't deserve to win today, but I think we could have won today. Yeah. So I think that's disappointing. I think um, credit to Collingwood, they were really good. They were really good. Um, but we want to be really good too. Yeah. Um, and just lastly, I thought even throughout the game, even when the tie was turning a little bit, the tackle pressure was pretty solid throughout. I don't know if you saw the same, but is that something that was sort of talked about pre-game and also sort of just throughout the pre-season? That's something you guys want to be good at as a footy side? Yeah, I think for us, we kind of um, really look at contested possession and tackles and make sure we're doing well there. And we were for the majority of the game, which is fantastic. And uh, I think if there is one positive out of today, it's the, the silver lining of sustained effort in the contest. Um, for us, the next step is now that we're sustaining that effort, what can we do when we win the ball?